So the, uh, the commitment to regionalism is uh, very important to us as a restaurant, um, uh, especially to me. I've kind of uh, come up uh, throughout the ranks of this restaurant and kind of watch it evolve. And uh, Niche is kind of an idea that's kind of continually evolving. Um, and we think about all the awesome products we get here from uh, farmers in Missouri and uh, part of Illinois. And we really just want to let that stuff shine. So you start to develop these relationships with farmers and uh, the land and the city that we work with. And it kind of just becomes more important. So I'd, I'd like the diners to, to take something special away from dining at Niche. And I want them to have an experience that is so Missouri that they know that they're getting something that they can't have anywhere else. Um, some of the feedback we get from guests is uh, all over the place. You know, if you just kind of put this food in front of them um, and you don't really talk about the story or what we're trying to do, they're going to kind of be like, well, we're, you know, a four star restaurant. So where's the lobster? Where's the foie gras? Where are the truffles? Um, you know, we can get any of that stuff whenever we want, you know, later today if we wanted to. But the thing is, it's super important is we're trying to express our regionalism and our terroir. And uh, in doing so, we can't use those ingredients. So once we start um, talking to guests and start telling them our story about, you know, how we're making our own cheese, how we're making our own miso, um, and doing things like that really to go above and beyond to give us the control that we want so we can make them happy, um, it really kind of opens up a bunch of doors in their eyes and they start to get really excited. The diners are reacting really nicely actually. They're, um, most people are pretty into it and they're willing to sort of go there with us and sort of take this adventure. Uh, but when I'm using things like miso ice cream and I'm using beets in a dessert form, there's definitely some eyebrows raised but they, they seem to find it kind of cool and especially when they find out that it really does taste good. So we're in the fermentation lab at Niche Restaurant where I keep all the projects that are ongoing. Uh, we have our Missouri Miso projects going down here. All the production vinegars that we make are going down here. Uh, black garlic, fish sauce, soy sauce, all stuff that uh, stems from uh, Missouri ingredients. The understanding that I bring to food now is much deeper because of what I have learned about what these ingredients are. Um, that really makes our food stronger, I think, knowing that we really know what the process is behind everything that goes on the plate. That helps us, helps the narrative of what we're doing, you know what I mean? Uh, helps us tell the story. I think this opens up a bigger conversation of what don't we have here and why don't we have it? Why is nobody farming snails in Missouri, you know? Uh, What's going on with our fish production, fish farming? Uh, can that be increased? And uh, what channels are we going through to make our rivers better? You know, how are we, how are we taking it to another level? And I think with that need starts the conversation. Our team's had a tough time with it, no doubt. It's been uh, a huge challenge. But when I polled it at one point, when I polled our kitchen to say, how do you guys really feel about what we're doing? How do you feel about these limitations? Is it important to you? And unanimously, everybody emailed me back saying, this is what keeps us pushing every day. My initial reaction with the restrictions was a little bit of shock. Um, luckily, a lot of them have sort of come slowly but surely, and we've gotten into, um, first it was no chocolate, and we've just slowly been taking things away. So it, kind of makes it a little bit easier, but um, it has pushed me tremendously in what I do. Um, I feel like I'm a much, much better pastry chef for having to live within these small parameters, but still make things that people desire to eat. Uh, basically, it's just the constant evolution of uh, creativity, conversation, and dishes. And just kind of, the more we do this, the more we kind of understand um, our style of food. I think it's super important that the guests, uh, when they dine here, kind of take away a sense of uh, time and place, 100%. Um, this food, this style of you know regionalist cuisine is all about kind of understanding our region, obviously. Um, so you know you want to understand what it's really like to eat here in Missouri and what the the earth provides us with and the land. So if I was a guest coming and eating, I would really want to be like, wow, like this tastes like what it means to like live here right now.